ladies and gentlemen, to race two. We're back for another season of NASCAR Thunder Cup Series action. Short races with very little tire wear, manual cautions and setups on. Green flag is in the air. Cliff Bryce in the number 17 car is on the pole. And as of right now, he's able to hold the lead. That's Tymac in the 22, alongside Herbie in the 41. Christian Sanborn in the 41. For the most part, everybody single file now going into turns three and four here at Atlanta Motor Speedway. It was Daniel Harmon winning the big event at Daytona to open the season, and that's him in the pink car behind Tymac in the 22. So coming into this race, Daniel Harmon is indeed your points leader. That's Aaron Manfredonia, if I hopefully I said that correctly, in the number five car just in front of the 22. Christian Sanborn still in the 41 car holding station in his in his spot. Cliff Price in the 17 car, there he is. He's still in the race lead. That's Ken Wireborough in second in the number four car former NASCAR Thunder Cup Series champion. Jerry Ashley in the light blue number 15 Toyota. Up there running solid in third place. Trying to chase down Ken in the number four. And Cliff Price in the number 17 as we got a battle here for position between Tyler McMurder and Aaron Manfredania. Former teammates at HMS. Looks like we're going to see McMurder clear the five car of Manfredonia. And now he's going to set his sights to his teammate, Christian Sanborn in the 41, and it looks like Dustin McClintlock in the 27 got up and made contact with the outside wall, and Jerry Ashley just got all sorts of loose. And now Dustin McClintlock goes around, going into turns three and four, Aaron Manfredonia in the five cars spun. Tyler McMurder in the 22, Daniel Harmon in the 62, Kenny Wanorowski in, in the 24. Titan Alex in the two car got through it. But a three or four car wreck puts us under the yellow flag here at Atlanta Motor Speedway. Here in the NASCAR Thunder Cup Series, there are no cautions called, no matter what happens on the track, for the first five laps after the initial start of the race and after every restart. This helps ensure that we're going to get some green flag runs and that we're all not going to be staying up until four in the morning trying to complete a race. It stops underway. We're going to try to get through them quick here. That was Kevin Long, I own 35 car. Getting tires, and now off of pit road, it looks like it's going to be Tyler McMurder in the 22, Cliff Price in the 17, Daniel Harmon, the points leader in the 62, Ken Wireborough in the in the four car, Kenny Wanorowski, and Titan Alex rounding out the top six in the front three rows there. Trying to figure out who the black car on the inside of row four is, and we believe it's no luck. He and Kevin Long Isle running seventh and eighth. Christian Sanborn and Aaron Manfredonia rounding out the top ten. I believe we're going to be going green this time by. Out of 
turn two, it's the 22. McMurder, followed by his teammate, Cliff Price. And McMurder Motorsports, the 22 and 17, are indeed teammates, as well as the 2, the 27, and the 41. view we have here of the battle for the race lead and that's Daniel Harmon in fourth in that pink and white machine that you see there. Ken Wireborough in the number four car has raced in real life on the dirt I believe running in third. The pole sitter Cliff Price in the 17 car Trying to get a little bit closer to McMurder in the 22 if he can before he pulls out a line and tries to make a move for the race lead. Daniel Harmon in the, four, in the 62, holding station in fourth, running the inside groove around most of this racetrack. Kenny Wanorowski is up to the seventh position in the 24 car. Having a solid day so far. 22 drivers entered today's event. 16 of them made the feature race as we have a lead change. Cliff Price takes over the, the front spot. And Ken Wireborough, Wireborough rather, in the four car is going to take over the runner-up spot. McMurder shuts the door on Daniel Harmon to, to hold on to the third position for the time being. Camera work here. Four car battle for the lead. And the phenomenal thing about it is the drivers running in second, third, and fourth are all former NASCAR champions. Ken Wireborough, Tyler McMurder, and Daniel Harmon, and they're all chasing after Cliff Price, who is going after his very first NASCAR championship. Aaron Manfredonia has worked his way up to fifth. Christian Sanborn in the 41 car runs in sixth, and Titan Alex in the number two running in seventh. Kenny Wanorowski has slipped to eighth in the number 24 car. R.J. Haywood has made it up to the 10th position. He has cracked the top 10 in that number 88 machine for the first time in this race. Jerry Ashley in the number 15 Toyota is running in the 11th position. And all these guys that we're mentioning are all on the lead lap still, and there's quite a few laps to go here at Atlanta Motor Speedway. Top four all still very close together, and it looks like Aaron Manfredonia in the number five machine is starting to gain a little bit of headway on the front four runners. After getting around Christian Sanborn and Titan Alex, he was able to take off a little bit, and now he's setting sail, running down the front runners. Aaron Manfredonia has won races in many of the NASCAR series hosted on the NASCAR 15 Victory Edition game on the PlayStation 3 console. But he's never he's never been able to put a full season together and, and win a championship trophy. But this season, here at Season 8 of the NASCAR Thunder Cup series, he just might have something. And we just saw the 17 of Cliff Price get into the outside wall coming out of Turn 2. That's going to allow his teammate, Tyler McMurder, in the 22 to draw a bead on him a little bit here and possibly take over that second place position. Ken Wireborough in the number four car has taken the race lead. I don't know if we've mentioned that yet, but he's got two McMurder Motorsports Fords battling for second behind him, and that's probably exactly what he wants to see.
You want to know what, though? I like how Daniel Harmon is playing this race. He's running him fourth. He might have something for these guys. He might not. But if he does, he's certainly not showing it. He's just running a clean, smooth race. He knows there's quite a few laps to go here at Atlanta. About 40, to be exact. And he's just riding and being smooth. He's being smart. Not a mark on that car. Not a mark on the 22, either. There's a good look at the gap. I don't know if you guys can see it clearly or not, but that, that dot out in front of the yellow 22 car is the leader, Ken in the number four car, former champion of this series, running away with this thing. You want to talk about a driver with a lot of NASCAR wins in the B and the C division? Look no further than the drivers running in first and second, Ken Wireborough and Tyler McMurder. Battle for third, shaken up now that Tyler has gotten around Cliff Price in the number 17. Daniel Harmon, the points leader, the Daytona race winner, trying to find some grip on the bottom and make the pass work, coming out of turn two there. The field getting really spread out now. Number five car, Aaron Manfredonia, still running in fifth, but He's no longer gaining lots of ground on the front runners like he was before. In fact, there you see he's being challenged by Dustin McLintlock in the 27 car and Christian Sanborn in the 41. Getting word from the tower that pit stops are coming soon. We don't think any of these drivers are going to be able to make it to the end without making a pit stop. You can see how much the tires have worn. We just saw the driver running in third place bounce off the wall, that being Cliff Price in the 17, and he's still not able to get away from Daniel Harmon in the 62. Now Aaron Manfredonia has lost his fifth place position and he is now running back in seventh. Oh, and McMurder in the 22 got all sorts of sideways there coming out of turn two. We haven't seen him get out of shape too much today. And there it was. NASCAR has completed one season of the NASCAR Elite Series, which is the most prestigious series in the NASCAR 15 Victory Edition game history on the PlayStation 3 console. And the one victory that Tyler McMurder was able to achieve was at this very track, Atlanta Motor Speedway. 500 mile event. Back then he was driving the number 24 machine. Ken Wireboro, still the race leader, has about a half a straightaway of a race lead on Tyler in the, in the number 22 Ford. We're gonna take a quick break. You're watching NASCAR Thunder Cup Series racing here in Season 8, Race 2 at Atlanta. You're on the NASCAR 15 video game on the PlayStation 3 console. Head over to NASCAR.com to learn how you can sign up to become a NASCAR driver. is out on the track and here come the leaders down pit road led by Ken in the 4, Tyler in the 22, Cliff in the 17, Daniel in the 62 and every other lead lap car coming down pit road 
There's Kevin Long Isle in the 35. There's Kenny Wanorowski in the 24. Christian Sanborn in the 41. Titan Alex in the 2. And now here they all come off pit road, and it looks like it was a race between the 4, the 17, the 22. And I'm not quite sure who got it. it looks like they're going to be giving it to the 4 car. lined up double file for the restart. Titan Alex is going to restart in 8th. That's the highest we've seen him run all race long. Dustin McClintlock is going to restart in 6th. And as you can see, some cars are indeed out of the race due to some of these wrecks. Some of those drivers are Ryan Breen. Chase D, Caleb Lopez, and Billy Milner. And the green flag is back in the air. We heard contact there. We're not sure who it was. Ken Wireborough in the number four, being chased by Cliff Price for the lead. McMurder in the 22 and third. McClintlock in the 27 running in fourth. Daniel Harmon in the 62 running in fifth. Aaron Manfredonia in the five car running in sixth. Titan Alex running in 7th, I believe that was, and Kevin Long Isle running in 8th in the 35 machine. This is kind of a good onboard view for you from the cockpit of the number 22 machine. Tyler McMurder, six-time NASCAR champion. He's trying to reel in the number 17, Cliff Price, and the number four, Ken Wyborough. But it's easier said than done at this point. Those two cars have been the fastest cars on the racetrack all race long. In fact, he's got Dustin McGlintlock in the 27 and Daniel Harmon in the 62, both closing in on him for third position. Those three cars running third, fourth, and fifth, all of which still on the lead lap. Aaron Manfredonia has settled into the sixth position in the number five Chevy. Yeah, Manfredonia showed some speed and some real promise early in the going, and now he's kind of settled in. Some adjustments have been made to these cars, I'm sure. And perhaps Manfredonia's number five team uh, went, went the wrong way or just simply didn't gain enough, maybe as much as some of these others. It certainly looks like the 22 of McMurder has lost a little bit of speed here. He's no longer able to keep up with the front two runners as he loses a position to Dustin McLintlock and now runs in the fourth position. I think that Manfredonia in the 5 car has a real strong long run car because now all of a sudden he's reeling in this, this group of cars. 
once some laps get laid down, his car comes to comes to life at Atlanta Motor Speed. But again, this is race two here in the, the eighth season of the NASCAR Thunder Cup Series, one of two NASCAR C Division leagues. Both of the C Division leagues are hosted on NASCAR 15 on the PlayStation 3 console. For more information, head over to NASCAR.com, N-O-S-S-C-A-R.com, to learn more about how to sign up and become a driver. Price in the 17 car is starting to show quite a bit of right front damage there. He's been into the wall and it had to have been a little bit recent. I don't believe he had that much right front damage on that most recent restart. Doesn't seem to be hurting his speed too much as he still maintains a, a healthy gap between he and the Clintlock of the 27 car who runs in third. Daniel Harmon in fifth there behind the 22. And Titan Alex has gained up to the seventh position and he's reeling in on Aaron Manfredonia in the number five. We're going to take another break here for watching NASCAR racing on the NASCAR 15 video game on the PlayStation 3 console. The caution has come out. Come back to commentary shortly. That very well might have been the final pit stop of the race. Hopefully these guys have it all figured out because they're going green this time by. Got a great restart. Does the McClintlock in the 27 takes second? McMurder in the 22 and third. Cliff Price in the 17 and fourth. And Aaron Manfredonia challenging them both. Three wide coming out of turn four. Something had to give there, and it was Aaron Manfredonia on the bottom who who let off the throttle. We saw the points leader Daniel Harmon in the 62 make minor contact with the outside wall. Getting word that a couple cars spun deeper in the field. Frank Edwards in the 78 machine. Kenny Wanorowski in the 24. Oh, and we just saw a car shoot up to the outside wall and then spin coming out of turn four. That had all the, the that had all the lookings and showings of a tire going down. Nevertheless, it's Ken Wybro in the number four, holding the race lead with under 15 laps to go here at Atlanta, at Atlanta Motor Speedway. Dustin McClintock in the 27, Tyler McMurder in the 22, and Cliff Price in the 17, and our all teammates at McMurder Motorsports running second, third, and fourth, and they're all trying to reel in that number four machine. And of course, drives for Milner Motorsports. Owned by Billy Milner, who also sponsors several NASCAR series. 
Now we got a battle for second between teammates McMurder and McClintlock. Really like that number 27 paint job that McClintlock is running this year. Cliff Price coming into the mix and it's a three team made battle for the second and third and fourth positions. Now they're losing a bit of ground to Ken, but this is this is huge because if they get a late race caution, one of these drivers might be able to be alongside Ken for the restart and perhaps take the lead and, and the win away. Now Dustin showing some signs of life in that 27 car reeling in the leader. Coming up to a couple of cars though that are be going going to be going one lap down. See if that slows down the leader or not. Now we see Cliff Price taking the third position away from McMurder in the 22. Then there's Christian Sanborn in the number 41 car, scored in fifth, having a great run here late in the race. spin coming out of turn two and it looked like it was no luck in the number 75 car and the caution waves and this changes everything they are going to restart with under five laps to go do you pit or do you not we're going to find out we're looking at the top five right now so it's Ken Wireborough, Dustin McLintlock, Cliff Price, Tyler McMurder, Christian Sanborn, Daniel Harmon, Kevin Long Isle, and I believe it was Jerry Ashley. Yes, it was in the 15 car there, the light blue one. That is your top eight. Twelve cars left on the track. We're getting a report. Sixteen started in this feature race. Twenty-two drivers entered the event in total. And we're going to figure out who's the winner right after these pit stops. Every driver on the lead lap coming down pit road. Here we go. Looks like everyone's going to take four in the... That's R.J. Haywood, taking two tires only. A couple of cars taking two tires only. This is going to make for an interesting restart here. R.J. Haywood takes two tires only, so he will be the race leader on the restart. Ken will line up on the outside of him in second in the four car. Dustin McClintlock in third in the 27. McMurder in fourth in the 22. Titan, or excuse me, Cliff Price in the 17 and fifth. Kevin Long Island in the 35 and sixth. Christian Sanborn in seventh. Daniel Harmon 8th, and we're getting ready for the restart. Jerry Ashley's going to restart in ninth. And here's the restart. Oh, and they're going to get bobbled up here. Oh, and... And Dustin made contact with RJ. RJ goes around. Cliff Price got into it. Daniel Harmon got into it. And now Jerry Ashley is battling for third. And Tyler McMurder's trying to run down Ken Wireboro. 
These two have battled for championships in NASCAR before, in this series before, formerly known as the NASCAR Late Model Series. Does he have enough time? Aaron Manfredonia in the 5 car in 3rd, Jerry Ashley in the 15 in 4th, Titan John in the 2 in 5th. Can he get there? Can McMurder get there? Or can Ken hold on? Remember the winner clinches a spot in the Season 8 NASCAR Thunder Cup Series playoffs. There's a lot on the line. Kevin Long Island 6, we can tell you that, in the 35, no luck, in the 75 and 7. corner final lap does he have enough time can he make something of it here he gave it one last hoorah but it's Ken Wireborough from Michigan winning here at Atlanta Motor Speedway in the NASCAR Thunder Cup Series Tyler McMurder in second Aaron Manfredonia third Jerry Ashley fourth Titan John or excuse me Titan Alex rather in fifth Kevin Long Isles sixth no Luck in 7th, Christian Sanborn in 8th, The Pole Sitter, Cliff Price in ninth, and Daniel Harmon rounding out the top 10, and he will still hold on to the points lead. Thanks for joining us, guys. Catch us at the next race at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. We'll see you next time.